Omnia, are you ready with this? Okay. Clear. Good. Okay, so welcome also. And today we are talking about this uh, local food creating menus model. And we go through all the parts which are, are included in that and then also taken uh, under consideration when we prepare for ourselves to the actual competition day. So my name is Hermanni and we are here now at Vamia uh, and our auditorium at Silveria and they are the first year uh, students and many in which in, with this course is English. So I can say hello to everybody. Hello. Okay, so first things first, uh, you should open the Ting link, link that was given to you uh, yesterday. Does everybody have it open? Island, we got the Ting link open. How about Omnia? Great. So the Think link link is shared on the Facebook and you can also find it from the cookingforthefuture.net and there are the modules and local food creating menus. Okay. And then we start to go through through that. Now you will find this, this one from the thing link and we're starting with this section from here. So everybody will find out this, this uh, particular base. Are you okay with this one now? All are here? Okay, so here on the PDF next to the A we have some goals for this module, not for today, but for this uh, module and how it relates to this cooking competition event. So the uh, purpose is to provide an understanding of menu planning. And we will create a menu which includes locally produced raw materials and it should have this innovative marketing concept. So it should have a story behind it. And then on learning outcomes, we are when you are successfully complete this module, there you are you should you be able to present the locality and one of those food making a little up up a bit. Uh, one of those food making you contact and cooperate with local producers. That can be also like farmers, fishermen, um, and uh, other places where you can get ingredients and how good you how good you are with this cooperating with them so and you also show the knowledge of raw materials and skills to handle those and com contents to use those on your ba daily base cooking and also you will create a unique and innovative dining experience with all of this that we just go through with including this menu developing and plating and we're going to tell more about this menu development uh, when we go through the day today. Yeah, so the, after this uh, module, so and basically when it's combined to the actual competition day, so you should have be able to understand or you have the skills in uh, to understanding the principles of menu planning and how to put them in use. And then you have skills to describe and present your menu. And uh, you should have at least have a one fine example how to create a create uh, uh, create this a uh, little bit different menu, and then this uh, carbon footprint stuff is something that maybe it's taken off, but we talk about that later. And then you are able to have the cost awareness, so understand how the price of the raw materials affects to the price that we have to charge out the complete menu. And of course it has other things in that 
which affects the actual price. Okay, so let's start. Do we have any questions at this point? No? Okay. So we go in this order starting from A and ending to E. So on A we talk, talk first about first about their locality and what the locality means. So defining it. Uh, so the locally grown refers to food and other agricultural products uh, that are grown or produced or and processed and sold within the certain area. But there is no standard definition. Local could be, you know, 10 kilometers away, or it could be 100 mm. kilometers away, 150. It depends out of many things. It's just the, the, the producers that you are mostly use in your area, like in restaurant, in the school or restaurants nearby. Yeah, but of course. Yeah. So and then you find we don't go through all of this because we don't have a we don't have a time, but there's the read more and there's one article about defining locality so you get more information from there if you need and of course the internet is full of uh same kind of articles so you can google more uh and then the task which uh we do some we do today and some we will do later on or you will do so <clears throat> the first task is to find out from the internet so your local producers and products so today you should make a list uh, out of the producers and their products and if you have some extra information about that so you can include that also and because we are going to present it online the pictures are always good today we don't have time for videos to watch but uh take a pictures uh, or copy pictures into your presentation and then later on you should meet a local producer actually meet go and visit and then you make a video documentation about the visit or a slideshow pictures and so on and this is something to, that you will add into your portfolio that one also helps you now creating the menu. If you are like based that one with your locality and your producers, it's easy to, you know, combine the story about how they make these uh, ducts and how they process them and everything. So you can also create your menu that way. Yes. So today's or the next task, which we actually will do is to answer to the question, what kind of local producers and products are available at your area? Sorry, guys, we just have a question here. Yes. Can I ask a question? Um, do you have to visit the producer or can you use existing videos of local producers? No, this is now, it's like, a, uh, this is the you decide how you will do it okay mm -hmm. there are different uh resources for example we are quite large class so we if we are going to visit somewhere we have to rent a bus and that's going to be challenging but we will find our way to do this but the goal is you know to actually meet somebody if if you have some person who's selling we have they have like this store where they sell nearby the local products mm -hmm. We can visit there or if there's some farmer and it's easy to visit we can go and visit there if there's some fisherman or whatever it's quite free but the idea is to document the meeting with a local producer some person and basically i think it should be outside of school but maybe if if we are ordering for somebody and they are delivering to our school maybe we can meet the person when they are delivering it mm. okay Thanks. Thank you. And also, we are really interested about the story. What's their story behind? Why they are producing this local stuff? It's, it's not only that they have, but they most have, most likely have some some kind of a story behind it. And that's maybe something that you can use uh, in your menu. Mm. Yeah, that that that's. Based 
basically a main thing if you meet them hear the story see the fields and have their like uh, the idea of how they grow things and how how much benefits there is for the chefs and all these kind of things yes and then we have here a few video examples which you can look if you want to but uh, we can watch a little bit of our one of our local producers here in here by Vasa and what they are doing. So when you go around, you can have a little bit more enthusiastic about how how you think it looks like. Things like that. It's exciting. We can go by the We can go to you. Okay then, and this example, it, it was so, because I think usually we have an idea that the locally grown is something that, you know, relatively old people are producing by their hands and small amounts and stuff like that. But it could also be something like this, which is, you know, there is a mass production and it's a lot of, you know, high quality stuff or a, how to say, a high tech stuff and yeah, but it's still produced really here, here, lo close here, locally. It's only like 70 kilometers away. Yes, or then the other way, other chance is to order it from Spain to get the fresh tomatoes, during mm -hmm. the winter especially, but now they are doing in there. So, okay, so the task, now you can start to do it. And we need, after an hour and uh, hour. hour and ten minutes, basically, so roughly after an hour. And meanwhile, in this time, you should have your lunch, and also um, I just put this away. No, I don't. I will just be okay. So we we will meet after an hour, roughly, and by that time you should be finished this presentation. So you can do, for example, PowerPoint presentation, and then we you can share it with the others like this. And then uh, the first to have the presentation will be Vamia, and then we have basically Trale and Omnia. And also we include that uh, after the presentation, the next group which is going to have the presentation is going to comment the previous presentation shortly, what they find inter interesting or if they have questions. Okay, so they have to really follow the presentation and prepare themselves to have some kind of a comment about it or few. Okay, do we have questions about the schedule and the task that we will do, or is everything clear? Just, we have uh, just a question here. Yes. So sorry. Um, so basically, we're for the next hour. We're putting. We're not going to be online. And we're going to put a presentation together. On yeah, you will. Make, yeah, the idea is that you will make a presentation about what kind of products product is near your area yeah okay. what kind of things you find from the internet and then well yeah. you can also start thinking which one of those you're gonna go meet or you know have a, some kind of planning already yeah, yeah. and this, it doesn't have to be that deep at this you just look those around mm -hmm. and basically from the net and then they are most likely have a website so you can take picture from there the name of the producer what kind of products they have maybe the location or something like that 
Yeah. And then list of those. So maybe we are all able to find at least three different producers mm -hmm. and their products. Okay. And then you can make a PowerPoint presentation or some other presentation, but somehow then you can share it with the others through this. Uh, so, how uh, we, sorry, I don't, how can we share? You, you have the share button, I'm sure. If you look, you're very right. You have the share button. So, you open over, you open over this computer and share. Yeah, you can decide what you can share. Like, I share, I decide to share my entire screen and then I share it. Okay. Okay, like this. And now you can see my whole screen. And it's full of airbys. But if you want to see my this core page, now you see, you know, part of the stuff. If you want to see my, you know, WhatsApp, it's there. Yeah. You just share from there uh, PowerPoint or video or, or anything you want. Interesting. Okay, and then it's just stop sharing. So you can do a PowerPoint presentation and then have it open on your computer and then share your screen view and then talk about it. I would recommend that uh, you all of you guys also edit that uh, PowerPoint presentation to your Facebook site. So PowerPoint presentation, what you are creating, uh, edit to the Facebook. So all the others are able to see it as well. Yes, so at least after today, maybe if not during today, but so later on when you have the presentation done, so you can share it also in the Facebook. So then we have uh, Ikaslan and uh, Tartu also. Yeah. Okay. Can check it. Yeah. But, but all this, the other ways we are fine. This is just, uh, you know, get to the things together and the ideas and collect them and then we carry on after the lessons to do the real demonstration. Yeah. And then, okay, I'm really pushing, but if we, we, are, we have schedule to keep or the time timeline, so we can have an hour for this task, and then we are back after an hour, and the lunch should be then also during that time. Okay? All clear? Have Good. a nice lunch, and uh, we'll do this. We'll see you after one hour. Bye.